So let me show you how you can achieve this trick on DaVinci Resolve. If you guys are new here, for those who don't know, I'm Fenzer. I do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel. So if you're into that sort of stuff, please consider hitting the subscribe button. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So the very first thing, obviously you need a screenshot or a screen recording. Here I have a screen recording of me activating different nodes in the color grading tab. So you can choose what you want. So now you want the background to be transparent for that. The very first thing is right click new fusion clip then come to fusion so in this very example uh, as you can see the background and uh, this particular nodes color is the same so it's a bit challenging for this but in other examples suppose you have colors like this and if you want to get rid of the background it will be much easier so for getting rid of the background i have to hit shift plus spacebar search for hsl keyer this is the one press add now once a node is selected uh, open this window in the inspector and just press on this node once and just press on the background which you want to eliminate in my case it's this one so now you can see that the background has gone only the nodes are visible but still you can see there is some noise which you can fix here under matte fitness you can adjust the pre-filter the clean black maybe the clean white a bit you can adjust accordingly just play with it and um, if you want you can do the blur but i don't normally touch the blur play with it until you're happy with it so i'm happy right here i'm not going to touch with the garbage mat or the output i leave it as it is so once complete you know you can just bring any anything down so suppose i can bring a solid color maybe change the color and you know you can just play with it you can even put a video like i showed you in the first part of this video so you can have fun with it that's pretty much it for this video uh, i hope you guys learned something from this fun little tutorial uh, thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one